Hi, this is Sona from Make Your Own. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own cleaning cloth by using the materials you can find in our package. So um, yeah, let's get going. Okay, let's start with the first loop. Hold your yarn like this, leave about 5 to 10 centimeters, and then we make a simple drag knop, uh, pull knot in English, by taking the yarn through and uh, tighten this knot. Then you adjust the size to your hook, so the part that you are leaving here is just going to hang here and you tighten the, the loop around your hook so it's about this size and you start making the chain. So you pull the yarn through this loop with your hook and uh, start repeating this one carefully. This yarn is quite soft and as you can see it's a bit tricky to handle in the first rows. Two, three rows are going to be a little bit more difficult than the rest of the work, so have patience here. You will uh, repeat this and uh, start building up this chain until you have 40 loops in your chain for zero. That's a good size for a cleaning cloth. And while you are making your chain, try to remember to keep your hands, um, keep your hands relaxed because um, this chain, if it gets too tight, it's going to be hard for you to um, make the second row. So, uh, so make sure that you have some flex in your chain and it's not too loose but not too tight either because then it's easier for you to make the second row. Okay, now I've done around 40 loops to my chain and uh, as you can see it's a bit twisted here and this is what normally happens when you make it the first time so uh, I wasn't really uh, that, um, that careful with mine either <laughs> and um, but it's okay. Yes, let's make the second row. You uh, You've skipped this loop here, which is holding your yarn. You can't go through that one. So uh, take the next one and go through here with your hook. Then you take the yarn, you can help with your left hand. You take the yarn and uh, come through. So you have two loops in your hook temporarily. And then you take the yarn again and come back and combine these two loops. And now you have made your first stitch. Then you go over to the second one here, the next one, with your hook. Take the yarn and take it through. Oops, this might happen. Let's do it again. And take it through again. And then you go over to the next one. Take the yarn through and take it through again. And even if the yarn is breaking a bit, don't mind that it's uh, not going to show in the end. So it's only in the beginning. Uh, this is where you notice if you have made your chain too tight because you should be able to do this without pulling too much or forcing it too much. So if the chain is too tight, it might be wise to do, to make the chain again uh, and make it a little bit more loose because um, there's a risk that you break your uh, crochet hook if you, if you pull too much, if you have to force it through. And when you continue making the second row, make sure that your chain is straight. So uh, just use the upper side of the slips you have here and, uh, and uh, make stitches to these ones because otherwise uh, this, will, uh, this will twist and uh, yeah, it's, it's not that important, it's not going to show that much, but 
try to try to keep it straight. Okay, now I have come to the end of the chain here. So uh, you are at the end when you can see that the side is aligned with um, with the loop where you started. So I have one more loop here left. I hope this shows to the camera because the gown is so small. So this one. Now we are done. And here before turning to the next row, you will uh, make just one free loop here. So take the yarn through just once. And this is really important because otherwise the side will get smaller and smaller in every turn, every time you turn. So it's really important to remember this one free loop in the end of every row. Just one. And then you turn your work. So when you turn this, suddenly you are in the in the beginning of a new row. And here you again, uh, you skip the, the loop which is holding your hook and uh, go through the next one. And here you already will notice that it gets easier. So you go, you look at this row from above, you see there's two lines, you go under the whole row with your hook. And take the yarn and make a stitch here just as we have been doing. And you go under the next, here, as you can see. Take the yarn through and make a stitch. And continue the repeating this one to the next one. Try to have, um, try to have like an even uh, tightness in your loops. So it, I made this one a bit too loose. The first one doesn't matter, but um, you will notice that if if the, your first chain is a lot tighter than the rest of the work, it will uh, also look like it's growing to the side. So uh, just um, try to keep it even, and uh, even if it would be a bit loose somewhere, you can just. Uh, Make it a bit tighter on the next one, so it doesn't matter. And uh, still have patience here with the yarn, uh, as we are in the beginning. Uh, it might be, it might be a bit hard to handle because you don't have anywhere to to uh, hold it just yet. Now we are at the end of uh, the third row, and uh, as you can see, the the work looks a bit funny. It's because it always uh, gets to a twist like this after a few rows. So this is quite normal. If uh, if yours looks like this, don't worry. It will uh, straighten itself out when you uh, when you come a bit longer with your work. So here I made the last stitch again, and I will make one more free loop before turning the work around and continuing the fourth row. And now when you begin the fourth layer, you just simply keep on doing the same thing we just did with the third layer. And this is what you do the rest of your work. So uh, you keep crocheting until you are happy with, uh, with the size of your work. I usually make them scale, square the cleaning clothes, but you can, you can make it as you want. So um, enjoy working. And uh, in the next clip, I will show how you how you finish your cleaning cloth. Oh yeah, just one more thing about how you how you hold the hook when you crochet, because in the beginning it, it's uh, easier to uh, to use all the fingers you have, <laughs> I, I would say, to uh, to come through. But uh, when you proceed, you can also try to to hold the hook as um, as many many other people do who crochet a lot. So. Um, from a bow, like a pen. And uh, I think this is actually a good way of uh, holding it when you, uh, when you um, have the chance, so to say. So uh, 
Try both and find your own style. There's no right or wrong. As long as it fits you. So, now we are at the end of the work. I have uh, measured mine and uh, it looks quite square. So uh, I'm happy with the size and uh, now I'll show you how you can make a, a nice finish around around your work. So uh, you get it even from the sides. So here you continue crocheting just as you have done before and uh, go through the loops from the side. So uh, you just uh, crochet around one layer. Uh, it's not really super exact where you go through, you will see which one you can take that are next to each other. And uh, by doing this you get this uh, nice line on the side here and this way you can uh, get the sides even. This will also help if your work has a bit different form in the beginning versus in the end. It might differ a lot from what you did here at the start to what you have done here, but this will um, even it out quite a lot. So uh, yeah, make this finish if you want, and uh, then I will show you how you finish the yarn in the end. All right, so once you get back to the corner where you started, you can just um, cut the yarn and leave about uh, 10 centimeters here. And then you simply just take the yarn through this loop you're holding and uh, take it through the whole way. And this will lock the yarn. If you want to make sure it's really locked, you can uh, make another one here as well and make a few of these. So it will not disappear anywhere. Then the rest of the yarn, which you have here, you can hide inside your work by turning your work around and crocheting it inside your work. So just use your hook to, to go through this. Loops here, you might have to turn your work around a few times. You can use the sandwich or you can go more, more inside your work. Doesn't matter really. And uh, yeah, finish up this one. Also finish up the other one the same way. And uh, then you're finished. Good job. All right, so now we are done with the cleaning cloth. I hope you are happy with yours. Please visit our website to see more products from Mio and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.